on that? I think I can. All right, go with it! One more thing, Chief. During the course of my investigation, I discovered that President Reagan was once a Hollywood actor. Wow! <laughs> God, I'd love to print that. Can we? Can we please? Listen, we better sit on for a while. I'm afraid we might have a libel suit on our hands. Chief, did you see this? Yeah, it's the New York Times. Johnson showed this to me yesterday. What about it? Look at the date, February 17th, 1984. They put that one out today. That's impossible. They can't put out one of these in two days in a row. I mean, are you sure this is exactly the same paper? I'm sure. I checked every page. And if I'm not mistaken, they put out a very completely different issue the day before that, too. Completely different? Come on. What the hell is there to write about every day? <laughs> Listen, in the past two years, we've put out five completely different issues of the Daily Bugle. <laughs> I've been proud of every one of those issues, except for the last one, which I admit was a little skimpy. Well, we only had three months to put that one out. <laughs> Listen, honey, I want you to drop everything you're doing. Go snoop around the New York Times. Find out how often one of these babies comes out. I'm on my way. Hi. Hi. Hey, Red, when did you get back from Levi? Want those pictures, pictures of the fighting. Well, don't worry. I got them right here. <laughs> but I'm not finished with the role, so I, I thought it... <laughs> I still got... I still got about four pictures left. I figure I'll have it used up by the weekend. Listen, the weekend's not good enough. I want you to get those pictures to the drugstore, take four more of them if you have to, and get them to me by Thursday. Hey, bug off, man. What am I supposed to do, take pictures that aren't even going to end up in the paper? Come on. Wait a minute. Why don't you send him to El Salvador? Maybe he can find four things to take pictures of there. Huh? Yeah, maybe. OK, you'll leave by boat tonight. <laughs> Chief, you're not going to believe this. I was just talking to the guy down at the newsstand. He says the New York Times comes out every day. You can't come out every day. That's impossible. Why, you'd have to have reporters working six, eight hours a day. You'd have to send them out on assignment instead of getting the stories out of the encyclopedia over there. <laughs> what if we did come out every day? What if I would have to make deadlines for ourselves, maybe buy ourselves another typewriter? You know what else? We should get a coffee machine. That way, if we wanted a cup of coffee, we would have it right here instead of going all the way downtown. Yeah, but <laughs> how do we fill a whole newspaper every day? Where's the news? Oh, I know what. On my way over here, I saw a huge fire raging in a building down the street. Yeah, so what? Well, <laughs> we could write about that. Yeah, I can see the headline now. A big fire. <laughs> you know, this could mark the turning point for the New York Daily Bugle. Let's get down there right after lunch. Oh, uh, I gotta go to the bank first. Okay, well, we'll go by the bank, then we'll go eat, then we'll get down there. Let's go! Okay. 